Today's medical-centric topic is Focomelia, a rare condition explained. Focomelia is a rare congenital disorder that affects limb development, causing the arms or legs to be shortened, malformed, or missing. It can range from mild to severe, with some individuals having partially developed limbs, while others may have hands or feet attached directly to the torso. Focomelia is often caused by genetic mutations or prenatal exposure to harmful substances, such as the drug thalidomide. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatment options can help improve the quality of life for those affected. 1. What is Focomelia? A rare birth defect where limbs fail to develop properly, leading to short or missing arms and legs. Types. Mild cases. Partially formed limbs. Severe cases. Hands or feet may be attached close to the torso, resembling flippers. 2. What causes phocomelia? 1. Genetic mutations. Caused by mutations in the ESPN gene, affecting limb formation during fetal development. Some cases are inherited, but many occur spontaneously. 2. Thalidomide Exposure In the 1950s and 1960s, the drug thalidomide was used to treat morning sickness in pregnant women. It was later found to cause severe limb deformities, leading to thousands of focomelia cases. 3. Environmental factors. Radiation exposure, viral infections, or toxins during pregnancy may contribute. Nutritional deficiencies may also play a role. 3. Symptoms of phocomelia. Shortened or absent arms and legs. Hands or feet directly attached to the torso. Underdeveloped bones or missing fingers and toes may be associated with facial abnormalities, heart defects, or vision problems. 4. How is phocomelia diagnosed? Ultrasound during pregnancy may detect limb abnormalities. X-rays and genetic testing after birth confirm the condition. 5. Treatment and management 1. Prosthetics and mobility aids artificial limbs improve movement and independence. Wheelchairs or adapted devices for mobility support. 2. Physical therapy. Helps strengthen existing muscles and improve coordination. Training on using prosthetic limbs effectively. 3. Surgery for severe cases. Some children may need corrective surgeries for improved limb function. 4. Occupational Therapy Helps develop skills for daily activities like eating, writing, and dressing. 6. Life Expectancy and Outlook Normal life expectancy, but challenges depend on severity. Many individuals lead independent, fulfilling lives with adaptive tools. 7. When to seek medical help if a prenatal skin detects limb abnormalities, if a child needs mobility support, therapy, or prosthetic fitting. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.